All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to alternate the fades of two items, whether they be two text items, two stack groups, two overlap groups, two pictures, a stack group and an overlap group, whatever you want to alternate and fade, and you want to see one, then you want to see the other one. Now, first of all, you see here these things are going way too fast, and you may be saying, hey, they're fading way too fast. That's not the case. Um, the thing is we want to apply a little bit of a delay between these fades so we can actually read what the heck the thing says or see whatever we want to see. So to show you how to do that, in KOWP, um, the two items that I have are text, um, two text items. They can be two overlap groups, stack groups, or whatever, and I have both of these inside of my root. I don't know why root's not showing up there, but uh, nonetheless, let me see what happens. Uh, let me go back into it again. Uh, I don't know why root's not showing, but I am in root. Nonetheless, the two things that we have, uh, we have time and we have date. Over in globals, I have two global variables. I have a time and a delay. The time is how much time it's going to take for the fade to completely occur, whether it be fading in or fading out. Now, I had this one set from zero up to 100. This is a number global variable. Now remember the reason why I have it set to 10, 10 corresponds to one second when you start talking about duration. The delay is the trick here. Now do you see how these things are fading in and out and it's hard to read one because the other one's just fading right back in on top of it? Well the delay is what we want to tweak here. Um, so let me go ahead and tweak this delay and I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to about 40 which corresponds to 4 seconds. Let me save this and go back to the home screen. The fade is still going to take one second to occur. Did you see it fade real quick? But notice the October 3rd is staying there for a second. It faded one second. Now the 415 with the time stays there. One second fade. And this delay of 40, which is four seconds, is what's allowing us to actually see this thing for about four full seconds before the next fade occurs. The delay is the trick. And where do you put these globals at? If you, want it to, if you want it to take a little bit longer to fade, let's put bump it up to 20. And uh, let's leave the delay at 40. So again, it's going to take two seconds for the fade to occur. And then we're going to have a delay of four seconds so we can actually have four seconds to still see what this stuff is, whether it be text, pictures, or whatever. Now the fade is going to be a little bit slower. Two seconds on the fade. So boom. Now one, two, three, four, two second fade, one, two, three, four, that's the delay. Now we have that two second fade there. So I hope that makes sense. That's how we can get that little bit of a time there to actually see the material that we are trying to display. So each one, let's pay attention to the animations. Uh, this is the animation for uh, the time piece. So under animation, I have it set to loop with return and I have it set to fade out. Pay attention to that right there. The duration, I have it set to GV time. Again, that's how long we want the fade to take for it to fade out or fade in. Um, and then the delay, GV delay. So I have those applied inside of there. When you start applying globals to these things, I ignore that number 10 there and that number 10 there. Um, I pay more attention to what my output is right here in my text preview. Now I'm using the stylus on my Galaxy Note 4 uh, because my Wacom tablet's just a little jacked up acting with Samsung side sync. So sorry about that. I hope you can still follow along with what I'm doing. Um, the same thing with GV delay. I don't pay attention to the 10. I pay attention to what my text preview is right there. So I had that set to 40. Now remember how we had this set to loop with return fade out. I'm going to go to my other piece and I'm going to animation and notice this one's set to loop with return fade in. This is what's going to alternate them. And this should, to my knowledge, never get out of sync. I know sometimes looping things in KOWP, they will get out of sync, but uh, this should be okay. Uh, the duration, same thing, GV time, and then for the delay, GV delay. And again, don't pay any mind to the tens that you may see here. You want to actually look and make sure that that number's right. And it's going to be because we have these connected through our number. Now, there's my root. My root come back. I don't know where it went to begin with, but uh, we have all that stuff linked to these globals here. So the delay, again, this is how much time you're going to have to actually see the item after the fades occur. So time, that's how long the fade's gonna take. The delay, think of it as how long you're going to have to see that actual item before the next fade occurs. So let's go back to the home screen. 
the fade should take two seconds and we should have six seconds to actually view our stuff based on the delay. Two second fade, one, two, three, four, five, six, two second fade, delay one, two, three, four, five, six, two second fade. So I hope you get the idea there. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can fade two items. Um, one set to fade in, the other one set to fade out, and adjust your delay so that you can have enough time to actually read or see the material. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.